What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Manga Nuchi Monday where we check out some Hajime no Ippo MMVs for some fights that the anime did not cover. Now I went through, read some of your comments and suggestions from the first one that we tried. Uh, I have slowed down the playback speed a little bit, hopefully giving us some more time to read through the panels and kind of see what's going on. Uh, I've also tried to go back and find some of the earliest fights that I could that the anime did not cover. Okay, because I know a lot of people were saying that a lot of character development happened throughout these fights, uh, especially in the manga. The anime, you can kind of jump around a bit, but in the manga, it's much more important. Uh, unfortunately, with that, a lot of the MMVs are in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish. So like Ippo versus Wally, I could not find uh, in English, and Sawamura versus Mashiba, which is one people have asked for, uh, I could not find at all. So if anyone has links to those or videos to those in English, please let me know, link them in the comments. Uh, I read everything, so I will go through and check those ones out. However, what we've got today is Ippo's first manga only fight. This one is between Ippo and Takuzo Karasawa, and it happens right after uh, Ippo's fight with Sawamura. So I'm excited to check this one out. Hope you guys are too. Let's go. All right, I've got this set to like a third speed because I tried to watch it at half and it was still crazy fast. And now tonight's main event. So I apologize if the pacing is a little weird. The Japanese featherweight title match is about to begin. With both hands raised high, Karasawa steps out. Can he grab the ultimate glory in his first challenge? So this is Ippo's sixth title defense. And I believe that uh, Karasawa trains out of the same gym as Kazuki Sanada. As well, one of Ippo's first opponents. And here we go, from the red corner, the champion appears. The crowd lets out a huge roar, the figure appearing is Ippo! When will the Dempsey roll become an inferno? Ippo climbs into the ring. He's got 17 stars on the shorts now. Alright, now the checks are over, both fighters return to their corners, all that's left now is the wait for the gong. Full house here at Kodakuen Hall. The intensity of the stare down before the fight, there it is, there's the gong, alright. Champion takes a step forward into his sixth title defense. Karasawa comes forward, moves into the center of the ring. Calm down, be patient, let your body get used to the ring. Outside is range, you're never outside Ippo's range. Oh, you can see the duck down happening. <laughs> ah, I can do this, just go. In the time it takes for a drop of sweat to hit the canvas. Ippo's down, he's got that peekaboo style. Driving off the foot, both of them charging in. Ippo so low, ready for those body shots and that big uppercut. That dart in speed that he's got. Dude, catches everyone. Even if you've seen it, catches people off guard. Can I still connect? No, Ippo's got that crazy head movement too. Oh, Ippo throws the jab, Karasawa leans it, but also gets thrown off balance for his punch too. But Karasawa is an outboxer, like a textbook outboxer. He does not want to be this close with Ippo, not at all. Yeah, darts out on that back foot, tries to create some distance, wants to use that jab. The challenger takes his distance, begins to circle the ring. Ippo just keeps that tight peekaboo stance, stays in there, just watching him, staring him down. Uh, 
That long, low sideways stance from Ippo. The heavy breathing, both of them waiting for an opening. There's Ippo diving off that back foot. Looking to close that distance. No, nope, Karasawa's off again. Circling clockwise, trying to use that left hand. There it is, challenges jab. Ippo ducks underneath it, closes the distance. Karasawa's known for having the fastest hands in uh, the featherweight division too, versus Ippo's uh, strongest punches in the featherweight division. Getting his hit and run rhythm down, so he's just, yeah. That's what you gotta do with Ippo, you can't stand and trade. Not when you're built like an outboxer. Although Karasawa did do a lot of work to try and build up his body so that he could take a few of Ippo's shots, but I don't know how far that's going to carry him with this. Like a deadbolt on a door? I've closed you off at this. Yeah, so he's using that left hand. He's trying to keep Ippo away. But Ippo's got that fantastic head movement, that crazy dart in speed. And he's gone. Karasawa's out of there. This time moving out to the left. That might get him in trouble with Ippo. Ippo's got that big left body shot. Normally you circle that way to stay away from your opponent's right hand, which is their power hand. But with Ippo, that liver shot, all that power there, Ippo doesn't really have a safe side to run away to. Oh, Karasawa is getting worked into the corner now. Yeah, he's just realized where he is. Ippo was just slowly marching him down, messing with his distance, messing with his circles he was trying to do. There's that dart in speed. Oh, Ippo looks terrifying with that. Big left hand straight to Karasawa's face. Manages to take it on the guard. Here's that liver shot from Ippo. That's the one we we're talking about. Oh, the way it just rips his back in half like that. Drilled a literal hole through his liver. You know what? That must be exactly what it feels like to get hit by someone with that kind of power. Manages to get out of the way of the right hand, though, out of the corner. Even after all of Karasawa's work. You just can't take punches by someone with that much power. And it takes the legs away. Yeah, there it is. It takes the legs away from you, too. You get hit in the body like that, your legs just stop working. 30 seconds left in the round. The challenger can't hide the damage. Ippo is going to be coming in for the kill. He's setting up the Dempsey roll here. Although, is he cautious to use it? Because last time against Sawamura, he started getting counted when he used the Dempsey roll. Clinching. Not a good place to be. Ippo can still let go with the punches in that clinch. Ippo tries to shake him off. Yeah, see, there it is. He can still manage to get that little body shot, even just like the inch punch, right? Still somehow manages to get power out of that. Karasawa's realizing it too. There he goes. Gets away, makes some distance. Just avoids the big uppercut. Yeah, to throw the uppercut like that with no range, dude, the, the legs... The power in the legs to do that is insane. Pops him with a big left straight. A left, it's more of a straight than a jab. Let's, let's face it, Ippo don't throw jabs. Okay, Ippo doesn't throw any jabs. What do we got? Time remaining, 15 seconds. Karasawa is already on the back foot real bad in this first round. Taking that left, the challenger begins to crumble. Hits the ropes. His legs are shaky. He's just barely managing to stay up. 
Epo's still coming after you, bud. You can't hang out there. I won't let this all end in one round. Oh, Epo rel relentless. Dude, Epo defending his belt is a savage. No mercy for Karasawa, who is just clearly being outclassed here. Big right hand sends him to the canvas. And it's a guard up doesn't always help, right? Like, it still hurts. Those punches still have force behind them. They still throw you around. Oh, Karasawa darts in. Blocks the body shot on the elbow. Still gonna feel that one, though. I don't see how he has any chance in this match. Big left hook up high. So we went body, reload, hook up high. He's just laughing at the power now. Ties him up. Caught Ipo on the back foot. Ipo's gonna off balance. They both go down. And Karasawa managed to somehow make it through the first round. Oh man. Round two. Our uh, challenger looks determined. I don't care how determined you are, man. Stepping in against Ipo after a first round like that. Ah, uh, he's uphill battle already. There's that hand speed that Karasawa's famous for. Calm down, I'm sure he'll circle to my right, so I'll cut him off and get in a position to chase him down. Yeah, Karasawa really wants to finish this and counter the Dempsey roll. Like, Sawamoto was the last fight, he showed that it could be countered. Karasawa's banking on that same strategy. Tries to start circling, using that jab to hide the direction that he's going. But those, those punches don't look like they're doing any damage to Ipo. He's just scoring points now. He's doing like a Kobashi Kenta style win. Seems like he's even faster than before. Gonna put him in the corner where he can't use that speed. Takes a fixed position in the center of the ring. Plants the- I love how you can see the gravity circles around the feet. He's planting hard. He's not going anywhere. Karasawa looking determined. Another left, even faster than before. Looks like he's throwing him from three different angles. Challenger's like a rapid fire machine gun. I mean, if you're gonna be an outboxer, you've gotta have a good jab. But Ippo just not even phased by these things. Moves indecisively, he's too late. The challenger's no longer there. Karasawa hit and run. He's racking up some points. He's got a lot of rounds to get through though for this. There it is, that jab on the way out again. Takes a lot to slow down Ipo. Can't tear through the distance. He's unable to catch him. No, Ipo's... Ipo's still just working him towards that corner. Just wear the jabs, it's okay, they're not doing much damage. The champion's enclosed in the classic outboxer's circle, going out to the left there, using that jab, circling out to Ippo's power side. Oh, there's that corner again. Karasawa's gonna find himself put in there again. Just a little, yeah, Epo's just slowly pushing in there. Slow and steady. Cuts off the circle. It's going to throw a right-handed to try and take away. No, there it is. And that's beautifully animated too. Like, uh, animated drawn. Uh, let me just see here. Okay, so yeah. Like, you can see kind of Epo was coming forwards in like zigzags. 
here. If you just move straight to the side, that opens up opportunities on the side for your opponent to go through. If you start to zigzag like this as you come forwards, it takes away their uh, their avenues of escape there, and you can start to keep them against the ropes and really work them against it. And you can see that Karasawa has just realized what's happened to him. Yeah, he's just realized what's happened. Here he comes. He looks ready to fire the big guns. Ippo's got him against the ropes. Is this going to be where he lets that Dempsey roll go? Got to be brave. Got to be calm in the face. There, Ippo's starting that. Starting to weave his body. That's the thing. Everyone knows this is coming, right? But this, that means that everyone can be ready for it. This is where he's going to stand his ground. I mean, the turnbuckle has no give like the ropes. If I get a little distance. You can't, though. Not with the turnbuckle there. Right? Against the ropes, yeah, you can lean back. Sabomura showed that, right? Not in the corner, though. Those things don't move. Epo weaving. Comes up from underneath. He changed the angle. It's going to be another uppercut. Or is he going to go to the body with it? Oh, no. It's that tight, tight left uppercut. Oh, he was all set for the Dempsey roll. It's all gone wrong. Does it come in the bot? No. Lifts him off his feet with that big left uppercut. Oh. No amount of training is going to prepare you for that. He was up tall. Core extended. Everything opened up. First title match. I don't know how he's still standing after that. Can't tell if that's Karasawa or Ippo. I don't think Ippo is holding back. He's not Dempsey rolling, but not yet anyway. But I don't think he is holding back. Another left to the guard there. Big hook. That's oh, because he clinched. If he gets away this time, I might not get another chance at this. So he threw that left hook. Throws another right hook. Just small, fast shots. Not letting him attack. Those big, wide attacks are going to let someone with uh, Karasawa's hand speed give him enough room to throw that counter. But Ippo gets so much power even in those little short, sharp shots. They're doing damage, yes. Pummeling the guard. Eventually, the guard's going to open up, too. Yeah, you can see him pushing his back into the corner there. Just not letting up from Ippo. Oh, Ippo's learning. He's learning. He doesn't just have to rely on the Dempsey roll. Is this character development? Wow, swearing in the manga? I didn't realize that. <gasps> there it is. He popped the guard up. He went a few body shots, pops the guard up. What's going to land next? He's got a basically a free shot wherever he wants it right now. Oh, he sees the Iron Fist, the Kamigawa special. Punching logs into the side of the hill. Here comes that big left hand. He doubled up, he threw the left uppercut to Brett. Oh, his entire body, he's not even looking at him anymore. That's how much rotation and extension he's getting into that punch. Oh, he's... I'm surprised he didn't break the turnbuckle and punch him through the corner. He's just too damn strong. That is... That is unfortunate. Outboxes, you know, with that speed, you can win. But you gotta play perfect the whole time, man. Someone with power, they just have to land that one shot. Oh, he just... 
He wasn't quite ready for the heat that Epo brings yet. But hopefully he comes back. I always like watching the speedsters fight. Monikawa does such a good job of uh, the speedsters. Back to the guard, that left hook again. How is he still standing? I thought for sure that was going to be it. Karasawa somehow throwing the left hook there. Maybe he is ready. Is he going to get Ipo with a big left hook? No, Ipo ducks underneath. Moves away to make some space for the head. Weaves underneath. Here comes another body shot for sure. Yeah, the foot twist. Is he going to let go of the Dempsey roll or is he going to... No. Ducks underneath it. And lands. Okay, it wasn't a body shot. Just a big left hook. Oh, just straight up takes his head off with that shot. That weave away, duck underneath, and as the body's coming, that, oh, big left hand. Look how he sent him. I was going to say, it looks like he sent him over the ropes into the crowd. No, he's done, though. There's no way he's getting up from that one. Not a chance. To be fair, he took some seriously big... No, hand of the rope. No way! How is he still holding on? This is just sheer willpower. Oh, this is a heartbreaking panel. Oh, his grip let go, he fell down. Am I the only one who wants to see Karasawa come back and like win the title now? Oh man. He did so well though, he took some of Ippo's biggest shots. Yeah, absolutely. He's not on, he's not able to continue. And Ipo defends his belt for the sixth time. That is a lot of defenses. Damn. In a little bit. He won without relying on the Dempsey roll. This is a big moment for Epo, man. Pressure aside, he did very well for himself. Absolutely. Karasawa might not have got the win, but he did very, very well for himself. Put on a damn good show. Anyway, guys, there you go. Epo versus Karasawa. Epo's sixth title defense. Let me know what you thought. Again, I slowed that down to like a third of the speed. So I apologize if the pacing was uh, a little bit strange. Let me know what you guys thought. Again, this is a brand new format. So please let me know if there is anything else that you would like to see. Maybe I can add, maybe, I don't know, speed it up, whatever else. Please let me know how I can make it more enjoyable for you guys. As always, leave a like. Comment down below what other fights from the manga you would like to see. And I will do my best to find them. Uh, and check them out. And if you do have links, please send them to me. I would love to check them out. And as always, make sure to subscribe so that when we get around to doing the fights that you want to see, you don't miss out. Till next time, stay awesome. Have a great day. Bye.